Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn and the Discovery Update. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, make the hover bike, and we're going to also look into making the uh, ground assault vehicle if we have all the resources for that. Um, I have decided that I'm not going to finish the space station just because there's just, honestly, there's just no point in doing it. Um, it's going to cost a lot more resources. We're going to build it. We're going to look at it and go, oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's all we're going to be able to do. So uh, I apologize, you know, if that is disappointing to, to some of you, but it just, it just doesn't make sense, uh, I think, you know, for us to do that. Uh, so what I do want to do, though, is I want to make those other two vehicles um, for you guys and maybe even make the mining droid, too, um, and just kind of see what that's about. So uh, I'm also curious to see if the uh, if the uh, hover bike, yeah, sorry about that. I was my, my brain just shut off for a second there. If the hover bike um, is better on fuel now. Um, I don't think it is. I think it is in the experimental version, but let's just let's just take a look at it and then, you know, see where we're at. So, uh, oh, wow, this is the one, though, that needs the 10 gun metal. Oh, my goodness, that's expensive. Yeah, I don't think we can make this, you guys. I really don't think we can make this because here's the thing. To make gun metal, you first have to make, I think it's bronze, and bronze also requires 10, let alone the gun metal itself. So, unless we you know, set it to respawn ores. We're not, I don't think we can make that. Um, so, okay, well let's, let's go ahead and make the hover bike first anyways, cause we should be able to make this and we'll try, we'll check it out and then we'll kind of see, <clears throat> excuse me, where we're at with our resources. So I'm going to gather up all these things. I'll be back in a second. We'll make the hover bike and we'll check it out. Okay. So we have everything we need to make the hover bike. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so the hover bike is, um, it's kind of fun. It does have a tendency, though, for the nose right here to get caught on the, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, uh, get caught on the terrain. Uh, so there is that, but let's, um, let's take it out and see if it uses fuel like a maniac. I wonder if they... Yeah, it does. It still uses fuel like crazy. Look at look at in the lower right hand corner at the power meter. I've already used a quarter of a tank of fuel and I just barely left the base. So yeah, the only way this is really, in my opinion, viable um, in this version of the game is if you turn the fuel vehicle fuel consumption down, uh, which you can do in the settings. But see, I'm already at a half a tank. I'm already at a half a tank. That's just, that's ridiculous. So yeah, okay. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get, I don't know if we're going to be able to get up this hill or not. Oh yeah, well, it's good at going up hills. <laughs> that's for sure. So it is neat. It's just, you know, like I said, it just uses fuel like crazy. But again, they, they, they have fixed this or at least improved it in uh, the new experimental version. So, um, and it doesn't look like we have any storage in here either. But yeah, but there you go. Now you've seen the hover bike. So hopefully it'll, you know, it'll be more manageable and experimental. Uh, but here, but here again, if you want to make this in this version, in the, or in the stable version, um, I re highly recommend that you turn the fuel consumption down in the settings because otherwise it's just... It ridiculous. I mean, it, it makes it pretty much useless to use when it uses that much fuel that quickly. Okay, so we get we got that done. Now, um, let's take a look and see about making the mining droid. I made the um, the assistant this guy here in the last experimental, and he was still uh, pretty pretty much broken. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna make him. But what he's supposed to do is he can follow you around. He can store stuff. And he will repair damaged stuff on your base, but he's very bugged. And he's kind of like the other, you know, our other bot where he'll just kind of wander off and do his own thing. And when he does follow you, he, he can't turn. And, and so he needs more work too. Uh, but let's see the mining assistant. We can, we should be able to make this guy. So let me once again, 
gather up all of the materials that we need for this mining bot and let's make him and see what he does. Okay, so we have everything to make the mining assistant. Let's do it. And there he is. Okay, so he is already off and mining. There is a rock outcropping there for some reason. Or no, it's gold. It disappeared. All right, so if you get close to him, he'll look at you, and you can tell him to stay, follow, and you can open his inventory. And he's got a really, you know, pretty good-sized inventory, and he'll just, you know, gather minerals. And uh, what he's supposed to do is if you make a, a depository uh, and put it near the base, he's supposed to come and... Where did he what, Where did he go? Oh, he's way up there. <laughs> Um, he's supposed to put the ore in the depository for you, but uh, that doesn't work uh, at, at present. At least it didn't the last time I tried it. I suppose we could try. Uh, we could try to put a depository outside and see um, if he does anything. But the thing is, is um, I I don't know if he has to, you know, be a certain level of fullness first or or what. So I'm I'm kind of thinking it probably isn't going to work anyways. But let's do this. Let's put our extra ore back in here. And then we'll kind of just follow him around a little bit. And see what, um, you know, see how much ore he gets. And, you know, one of the more useful things he's going to do for us. Oh, you know what? We, I just realized we have another bug, too. It looks like the game didn't consume all of the materials we had to make him because I, I had my, you have to have a diamond chisel is one of the things and he didn't, it, I still have it. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like that bug is still here uh, in this version too. So, you, it, so it requires you to have, you know, all of the, the parts, but it doesn't actually consume them when you make the item, which is not the way it's supposed to be, of course. And I'm like seriously lagging out again here. Oh man. I've already rebooted the game once since I started this recording. <laughs> This is terrible. This is terrible. Okay, let's put that meat in there. And I guess we'll just put the diamond pick back because it's totally broke there. And um, let's go back out here. One of these containers has uh, this stuff in it. So let's put that in there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see if we can find him. Uh... I want to go here, and we need to eat something. So remember, you can tell where your droid is by looking at the green dot on the map. But he's he's already way to the north of us. And then we still have our security bot down here that's who knows what the hell he's doing. Um, You know, hmm, we could maybe go get him and have him follow us around. He's kind of far away, though. We might want to take... The rover, I guess. I wish we could take the mech, man. But let's try the mech one last time. One of the things I did in the last stable uh, series that I did is I, I walked around in the mech and have had the robot, uh, you know, the security robot follow me around, and it was kind of fun. Yeah, see, he, he can hardly walk. He's, like, completely broken. He should have absolutely no trouble walking over these, you know, this little tiny hill here. And he's he's just, he keeps getting stuck. There's something really busted with this guy. Ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. Okay, well, anyway. Um, why, I guess the best thing to probably do is get in the rover, since it's the only vehicle really that we can count on. <laughs> and uh, let's go find the mining droid and just see what he's done so far. And I don't, I don't know if we're going to go after the security guy or not. I mean, he's just going to freaking wander off again and not do a, does a damn bit of good. So, And, you know, I, I don't mean to sound um, negative. You know, I, I understand, you know, the game's work in progress. I'm sure the droids are on the devs list of things to do um and so you know i'm hopeful that they they'll be fixed and they'll work the way they're supposed to in, in future releases but 
they just are not really working the way they're supposed to right now. So that's just all there is to it. All right, let's go see where this guy's at. There he is. So he's just going to town. He's definitely doing some mining for us, isn't he? All right, let's go up. He's mining iron right now. Okay. So yeah, he's got like 31 iron force. There's a lot of iron nodes around. So you can see that this, I would say this guy is still definitely useful. You know, let him do his thing um, and, you know, and check back on him. You know, wait a lot longer than I have, of course. And he'll, he'll gather, gather you up some ores. It's just that he won't bring, I don't think he'll bring them back to the base and put them in the depository like he's supposed to. So you're just going to have to find him uh, and empty him out. Um, you know, at any point in time, but he'll he'll go around. He'll hit the ores. He'll hit the the rock outcroppings, and you know he'll get some copper uh, and silver and gold um, as a part of that process. So out of the three bots, this guy is definitely you know the going to be the most useful. All right, guys, I decided uh, to go ahead and change the settings on the game uh, to respawn ores so I could get some tin. So we could go ahead and make the ground assault vehicle because uh, I wanted to show that to you as well. Uh, so as you can see, I got all the resources gathered up here. Uh, so let's go ahead and make that and we'll check it out too. Uh, this is a pretty good vehicle uh, the last time I used it. Um, and I don't think it uses a fuel excessively like the um, like the um, uh, the hover bike does. But, so let's take it out. Is that crap dead? <laughs> it was just sitting there. Um, one thing, one thing about this though that I do remember now that I'm seeing it is it the it doesn't actually have a really powerful gun on it. You would think a ground assault vehicle would have a much more powerful gun, but as you can see, it takes a lot of shots to kill the crab when the mech can kill it like in one one or two shots. So. Yeah, I, could, I actually forgot about that. So I'm not super impressed with the with the gun on this thing. Um, and like I said, I don't think it it uh, uses uh, excessive fuel. It looks like it's fairly reasonable in terms of the fuel. But let's take it out. Let's get out of the valley here and uh, take it out for a little bit more of a spin. It doesn't seem to be quite as good at traversing the terrain, though, as the uh, as the rover is, which would kind of make sense, I guess, because the rover does have larger wheels and stuff. But it, and it can be a little bit squirrely at times too. There we go. This is this is kind of like the road out of here. At least until you get to this point. <laughs> Can we get up this hill? Okay. So let's go this way. And uh, we'll just try, try the gun out on it a little bit more. It's a pretty expensive vehicle to make, though, considering 10 gunmetal. I'd say gunmetal is probably the most expensive alloy to make in the game at this point primarily because of the tin so I'm just looking for some more enemies here that we could test the guns out on whoa <laughs> we got a little upside down there in terms of just driving around though I actually prefer the rover now over this your rover used to not be that great, but now they've made the rover actually quite a bit better for getting around. But the rover, of course, doesn't have any guns. But again, the guns on this thing are not actually something to write home to mother about. They're pretty weak sauce, if you think about it. I mean, look how many shots it's taken just to kill a damn scalopod. It does have a fast rate of fire, though, so it does have that going for it. But if the guns are that damn weak, though... Yeah, cause see, if I was in if I was in the mech or even even in the in the crab mech, um, 
you know, those things do way more damage than this thing does. So, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, now that I'm taking it out for a spin again uh, and seeing how weak the guns are, I'm not super impressed with this vehicle. All right, so I guess we get out of it and press B to flip it. There we go. It looks cool, though. <laughs> it looks cool. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I think um, I think it's time for us to go ahead and wrap up uh, not only the episode, but I think it's time for us to wrap up the series. We've pretty much done uh, just about everything we can do. There were a few things we didn't do. We didn't, um, you know, we didn't test all of the guns out, but uh, I think that uh, the guns that we, you know, we did use, particularly the the heavy assault rifle, the Colt, the C19. Uh, that thing is just pretty much a guaranteed one-shot kill uh, if you use the top-end ammo with it. And the Cobalt Bolt Rifle, too, is super, super reliable and good weapon. Uh, so there is the Cryo Weapon, which, you know, does freeze damage. And then there's, like, the Heat Pistol and the Fusion Pistol. Uh, so, there's you know, those are a couple other weapons that we didn't actually try out. But, you know, if you guys are interested... Uh, you can try those out in your game, but I think we've pretty much covered everything that there is to cover uh, in this playthrough. Um, you know, we've we've built a, a full base and built everything that the base has to offer. You know, on on Proteus, and then we started the uh, we started the uh, you know the space base, but it, it became apparent that it was really kind of an exercise in futility at this point because you know it's just so expensive to make, and you build it, and then. That's it. I mean, <laughs> there's not really anything anything to do with it uh, at this point in the game. But that, you know, that will change, of course. Oh, my goodness. I'm, like, totally stuck here, huh? Yeah, these guns are just terribly weak. Maybe the bug will help, help me. Uh... Okay, here, let's flip it back over. And if, if, okay, there we go. I was going to say, flips us back over and then just puts us right back where we started from. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, there's not, there's not really a whole lot more to do, really, to be honest with you. I think we've reached the, the end of, uh, the game at this point. And, you know, the hope is, of course, that the devs will keep working on it and they'll add more content. And they already are. I mean, you know, there's experimental, another experimental out, uh, at least one, maybe even two releases of experimentals, just even since they came out with the, a discovery update uh, so there's definitely more to come but I think for this particular playthrough uh, we're we've pretty much uh, done everything that, uh, that at least I wanted to do and you know because of the fact that this was also a tutorial series as well as a let's play I hope you guys uh, that are new to the game uh, found the tutorial useful and um, you know uh, learned what you what you wanted to learn about the game in its current state how to play it that sort of thing and yeah you know, that you get a lot of enjoyment out of the game I sure have um, as far as, you know, what's going to happen in the very near future, I'm still trying to decide if I want to continue uh, with experimental or if I want to, you know, maybe take a break from the game for a little bit because I've been playing it for a little while now. And, you know, just maybe I, what I'm thinking about doing is taking a bit of a break from it and, and giving the devs more time, you know, to add more content to it and then, you know, coming back to it uh, later on at some point in the near future. So that's probably what's going to happen. But, I, you know, I'm, I want to give that a little more thought. I might do some more episodes on experimental. We'll see. Um, you know, we'll just have to kind of wait and see how that pans out. But anyways, guys, that is it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and I hope you stick around on the channel too. If you uh, started uh, watching me for the first time playing Osiris and sub to the channel, um, you know, please stick around because I, I have a lot more content uh, that I'm going to be doing. You know, I'm working on Seven Days to Die. We're doing some Dying Light. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be looking into, you know, more potential sci-fi games, uh, too, that we could that we can maybe do, too, um, you know, in the near future. So ho hopefully I can keep you as a viewer and a sub on the channel and we'll be happy to see you guys again uh, in an upcoming video. And look at me. I'm stuck again. No surprise there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not too impressed with this vehicle, I'll have to be honest with you. All right guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.